Thank God it's Friday. All right, guys, let's talk. Got a lot to tell you here. I've been holding back some things on you. Um, so through time, one of the number one things you've been he hearing me actually tell you for a while is that the reforms and its funding process are both married and synchronized with the rate change, right? We're going to get back to, back to that in a second, okay? Let's talk about where we left off yesterday. Some of you did not understand, and I looked at uh, many of your responses. I could actually tell many people, or majority, were kind of still hanging out there and just did not follow or did not understand, and that's okay. Let's get into that. So, regarding the borrowing law, what is, does this have any, they keep telling you that the borrowing law is for these salaries. Guys, it's not, it has absolutely nothing to do with salaries. What you have to learn in the media is when they bring you articles, some of the articles are partially truthful and partially full of BS, okay? Give you an example. Throughout this week, they've told you that they, in a couple articles that they plan that their goal or plan is to increase the exchange rate. And then they said 120 dinar will equal 100 US dollars. Again, half truthful, half BS. Okay. The truth in that article was where they said, yeah, we have intentions of increasing the exchange rate. The BS part is where they said 120 dinar will equal 100 US dollars. Do you think they would ever really tell you the true rate? That's why they're giving you a rate of one-to-one, -one, guys. Again, BS. They'll never reveal the true rate to you. It's all BS. The only part of that article that was truthful was where they said they have intentions of increasing the exchange rate. Okay? So here's the deal, guys. They said that they have to borrow money to cover salaries, and guys, that's not true. Due to, due to low oil prices. Guys, oil dropped from April through June of this year. That's when it was below 40. Okay? They've been fine. They, they make enough money off of um, oil. They already told us oil at $40 a barrel covers salaries. Okay? So, again, the, the borrowing law has nothing to do with the salaries. And I've shown you at least, I think, two articles earlier this week where it clearly said right in the article that the reforms require... The borrowing law. They actually, I actually showed you guys at least for sure one, maybe two articles this week, earlier this week, that said right in the, the reforms require the borrowing law. Okay? They've also told you that the borrowing law is for the deficit. Think about that for a second. Where did this deficit come, come, come can actually come from? They haven't had a deficit at all earlier this year. Why do they have a deficit now? Where's it coming from? If you guys go back to earlier this year when they were talking about the 2020 budget, they told you that the huge deficit within the 2020 budget is the reforms, guys. So I'm, I'm just bringing forth all the different factual pieces so you can see how they align. The They've never had a deficit this year until now. Well, what's coming forth now? The reforms. There you go. The huge deficit, guys, is because of the reforms. Okay, not because of the salaries. They The salaries are paid and have never caused a deficit. So in other words, guys, the salaries have nothing to do with this. And again, like I told you earlier this week, I've showed you for sure one, maybe two articles that said right in the article, the reforms require the borrowing law. Because again, that's, what bring, that's what's bringing forth this huge, massive deficit that they've never had. And again, it's because it's very simply the... Reforms require a tremendous or large amount of funding. Okay, that's where the deficit's from. It's to fund the reforms, okay? So there you guys go. The, guys, the fact that they're telling you they're ready to bring forth and approve the borrowing law starting starting the approval process this Saturday, guys, they're pretty much telling you they're ready to bring forth the rate change, okay? And again, it has nothing to do with the salaries. It has only and everything to do with the actual reforms. That's okay again.
because the reforms are what bring the deficit because they, they require additional tremendous funding. It's that simple. Okay, salaries have nothing to do with the actual deficit because, guys, the salaries are actually funded from the sale of oil anyway. Okay. Now, there's a little more here I haven't told you. I've been kind of holding out on you guys a little bit. Now it's time to tell you. What you guys saw happen last week guys actually was the starting process for the rate change okay last week when we had the 17th brought to our attention and they changed out that software platform guys from the libor system to the sofor system last weekend that was actually the starting point for the rate change process and that's what i've that's what i've hold, held off on telling you guys I, I needed to wait some time to tell you okay but that that literally was the starting period for the rate change process at a, at a computerized level, okay? So there you go, cat's out of the bag. They have officially started the, the changing process or bringing forth the rate change process. It officially started last week when they, when they did those, that computer software upgrade from the Libor to the Sulphur system last weekend, okay? Now, at the beginning of this video, I shared one more thing with you. I told you that I've been sharing with you for quite some time how the reforms and their funding are married to the rate change, okay? What did Iraq bring you yesterday that I told you was the most important news you've seen this entire year, okay? It was the article from yesterday where they talked about the reform funding of the borrowing law, okay? Here's what you guys need to understand, and this is huge. The fact that they told you now they're ready to bring forth the funding for the reforms, which is the borrowing law. What they're telling you guys is they're now ready to show you the rate. But again, the whole, the whole process of bringing it forth and having having it ready to bring forth occurred last weekend when they did that software that software platform transition from the Libor to the sofa they started it last week now they're telling you they're done and they're ready to show it to you that's why they told you they're ready to bring forth the funding process for the reforms you guys are the best have a great day